Ooh, what is this creature? This is... Oh my, why is that even created? What is that? Uh, oh, it died. <laughs> Oops. Hey, this one kind of looks somewhat normal. Never mind. Um, what about this one over here? We're going to have to create our own creature before this uh, episode's over. Dude, look at these. Okay, these are kind of impressive. Where's the head at? Oh, there it is. It's like a snake head. Yep, it's got a genetic disease. That one died too. Um, Komodo's the creator of life and death, apparently. YouTube Komodo Gaming and today we're gonna be checking out Ecosystem. This is a game about creating your own custom ecosystem, watching it evolve, creating your own creatures kind of like Spore, and watching the chaos unfold because we all know whatever I do is gonna end in death. So we're gonna be jumping in. This is a new game available on Steam and let's see what it's all about. All right, so we're gonna start off here at the beach. I have played the game just a little bit to get familiar with the controls and uh, it's really kind of pretty simple. Uh, you start off by placing down some plants and you get these life points uh, that way you can evolve and create more creatures and other plants. So right now we've got a little bit unlocked. It's really just the plants. So we're going to go with the Amazon sword plant, the grass rack pond weed, and we're going to go with the Congo fern. So these will be our starter plants. So you can see the uh, environment here is all unlocked. Probably want to put these in some sunlight here. So we'll start off with maybe our Amazon sword plants. So we'll start putting those down and you'll notice they'll start actually uh, throwing seeds everywhere. And that's going to grow even more plants, which is going to make your ecosystem a little bit more healthy and make it to where you can evolve and add even more things. And then eventually you're going to get some hideous, ugly fish, which I'm hoping that's what we get this episode. So if you guys want to see some more random games like this on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, and uh, let's continue here. All right, so they're spreading seeds uh, quite a bit right now, so we can switch over. Let's switch over to the uh, the conga fern. So this one is a fast moving plant, so hopefully it'll start to spread. And uh, we need to get this health up. So you can see it's going up the more plants get placed down. Uh, we can also adjust the terrain itself too. So say I want to make like a nice little uh, cave over here. We can actually pretty much just jump this up. Just imagine this being like some sort of huge aquarium simulator. Except for your aquariums like the whole ocean. Alright, so another thing we're going to want to do. We want stuff to start to spread. So we'll actually adjust the current. So we're going to draw it. So it's going to come in from this side and flow down so that's going to start to spread those seeds down and once we start to get uh actual creatures in here uh, they should start to kind of float that way oh that's so cool looking and last but not least let's go ahead and put in our grass rack pond weed uh let's go ahead and see what this looks like oh that's kind of cool looking so we'll stick it there uh it should start to spread out this way so hopefully we'll get like a patch of it going there Oh, that's too cool. All right, so we have enough points to actually research new plants. We'll do that here in a second. What I want to do now, we want to get some sort of creatures in here. So we're going to get the foragers. These should feed on the bottom here. So let's stick them right here. And this is where the game really starts to open up because we're going to see some freaky stuff happen here in just a second. Probably creatures that shouldn't even exist. All right, so here come our first creatures, and it looks like half of them are just burning because, yeah, I probably didn't do something right here. It's fine. Ooh, what is this creature? This is, oh my, why is that even created? What is that? Uh, oh, it died. <laughs> Oops. Hey, this one kind of looks somewhat normal. Never mind. Um, what about this one over here? We're going to have to create our own creature before this uh, episode's over. Uh, oh, that one died. You know, everything seems to be dying. Uh, is that a common theme? And Oh, everything's already starting to get big. What is happening? Dude, look at these. Okay, these are kind of impressive. Where's the head at? Oh, there it is. It's like a snake head. Yep, it's got a genetic disease. That one died too. Um, Komodo's the creator of life. And death, apparently. Okay, so let's research some stuff. Uh, we can research the red starfish. There's some other really cool plants that we can uh, do here. Let's do some seaweed. And let's do the red starfish, and let's do the java fern. Okay, so we're going to do these java ferns here. Let's go ahead and add these up on this hill, and hopefully they'll start to flow down with the current. Add some more over here. There we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. 
And then we're gonna add a little bit of seaweed over here. Let's add that kind of down through here. We need to adjust the environment a little bit too. Also, we can put down a red starfish. Is there a certain place these need to be? Just stick you right here. Look at that. It's a cute, actually, I think it's ginormous. Okay, it's kind of cute. We'll get some starfish in here. So eventually, besides the uh, forgers, we want to add the predators. And then there's an apex predator, which is kind of cool. So we're going to be able to watch stuff eat each other, which is going to be kind of hilarious. Hey, look at this thing. This thing's ugly. Is it? It's swimming upside down. Why do I get fish like this? What is this even supposed to be? You know, at any point, I can click a couple buttons and I can yeet the fish away if I need it to. Uh, would that be cruel? So I can actually just grab them. I can move them around a little bit. Or uh, in the case of this one flying sideways or swimming sideways, we go, wee! And then there it goes. <laughs> oh, boy. Also, we can feed certain things to try to boost them. And what is this? Okay, this is... Is this two creatures or one? Are they doing something here? That's one. It's like two snakes. And then you got this weird head. Uh, I want to feed this one extra good. So here, take some boost here. There we go. Boost them. Make them uh, very, very powerful. Maybe we'll make more of these things, whatever they are. All right. So we got some more stuff for the ecosystem. We got mushrooms and the orange starfish. So we're going to research both of those and uh, see what happens here. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of playing around in the area to the side of our ecosystem here. So, you know, we could create like a deep cave. Maybe we can get something growing down here. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. Haunts go down here. There we go. Kind of form that out. Man, the terraforming in this game is actually really impressive. So let's keep going. We'll start this like right here. So this will be the cave opening. Maybe we can make like an apex predator that lives in here. That would be kind of cool. So every cave pretty much has mushrooms in it, right? So we'll stick some of these down in here. Maybe we'll stick one of the uh, starfish down over here. And we need to get a plant that can deal with the darkness. So this Anubis? Anubius? I think that's what this is called. This one's okay down here. So we'll maybe put these down in here. And can I put a forager down in here? Would that actually work? So if I go boom, maybe something will adapt and uh, live under here. That'd be kind of cool. All right, I really want to put in a predator. Can I do that at the moment? Is that a bad idea? If I create this, oh, I need to go to a different area since the species have basically filled this area. So, boom. All right, so we have a predator coming. So now the animals and the creatures and everything that's down here, which I'm not even aware of all the stuff, they're all going to start eating each other. I want to create an apex predator. Like, we really uh, should put one of those down. I'm afraid it's just going to eat everything, though. So maybe we'll grow our uh, ecosystem a little bit more before we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to release another predator here and see what forms. So here, let's go to our cave area or any. Oh, that kind of looks mean. Uh, hold on. Go down towards here. What is this thing? Is this our predator? Uh, I haven't seen it eat another one yet. Hold on. Something's happening here. Uh, are you two attacking each other or are you just swimming by each other? I kind of feel like one of them might be eating the other, or they're just really, really confused. Also, there's something blowing up over here. This thing's growing. Oh, dear. Hey, this is my first halfway normal fish. Like, this one doesn't look that bad compared to the other ones. <laughs> Does that mean we win? Or are we winning? All right, so we want to create our own predator here. The uh, creation system in the game is actually really cool. I'm just sure anything that I build's probably going to die within seconds. <laughs> oh, boy. So let's make it a, a thick boy. Let's make it wide, and it's going to be like a fridge. <laughs> what the heck is this supposed to be? Also, we have to be sure to change this to uh, old uh, Apex here. All right, so Apex is selected. So I want to change some stuff. What if I let the game randomize? Like, oh. Oh, is this where the game gets those weird? What the heck is this supposed to be? It's a pancake. Uh, I kind of like this. This is the world's ugliest fish. So, hold on, let's change a couple things. First off, let's change the head. Let's make it look a little bit... What the... Huh? <laughs> oh, no, it's stupid. What is this thing? Oh, I love this already. I feel like this is the perfect creature. So I guess how you adjust everything depends on, I guess, how successful the predator is going to be. And, oh, that is something. This is kind of a, a weird fish. And, oh, oh. Okay, so the creation system in here is amazing. What? Yeah, hold on. Can we make it the size of the ocean? Oh, what the heck are we doing? 
<laughs> well, you just made like a mega anaconda or something? Well, I guess it's not a snake. It's got two. What is that? Okay. It's like a frog on one end and a snake on the other. Can I let this thing live? We're going to name this one Bob. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Bob. Bob doesn't fit in the frame. Okay, this is Bob's picture. Yeah, buddy. All right, so click anywhere to spawn Bob. Uh, oh, can't spawn Bob here. On, let's try spawning Bob maybe over here. Where's Bob? Was that Bob? Oh, that was Bob. Bob just flew to the sky. Huh? What? Oh, I think Bob just died. Wait, why did my Bobs pop? Wait, is that a Bob? That's a Bob. Hey, look, that's Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob is evolving. Bob is uh, a big fish. So Bob also just popped. Uh, maybe I shouldn't create stuff. This is fine. I mean, maybe I should just continue to uh, evolve the ecosystem here. Let's try placing one more Bob. Come on, I need another Bob here. Let me place him in the area. Okay, here's another set of Bobs. Okay, there's Bob. Bob's really small. What if I feed Bob directly, though? Like, I feel like, oh, Bob's getting, oh, no, Bob's getting really big, really quick. Okay, Bob, it's fine. I'm gonna give you some special attention here. Uh-oh, Bob is a thick boy. Bob is growing super, super, super fast. Uh, Bob. Bob. Bob just died. That looked like a Thanos snap. All right, so I totally made another fish. This is too ugly for you. Wait, is there a Bob back there? <gasps> That's totally a Bob. Bob survived. Hold on, here's too ugly for you. Let's spawn this one in, too. Oh my, there's another Bob. Bob's got a thick butt. <laughs> Bob's butt looks like it's jiggling. Oh no. What have I done? Well, I've created the ultimate apex predator. This is Pete Komodo right here. Bobs are multiplying everywhere. So we're going to have a big Bob army. You know, at some point, we're going to... What? What is that? Did something just kill Bob? Something stretched across the world and, like, it killed Bob. Also, is my too ugly for you? Is this him? Oh, look, it's too ugly for you. Oh, no. So, the creating the character might be the best part of the game. I mean, the sophisticated ecosystem system of systems is really cool. And watching your stuff grow is super awesome. But, I mean, oh, my Bobs are dying. Should I spawn in more Bobs? So you guys get what I was doing as far as the uh, building the ecosystem. You unlock a ton of plants. I'm going to save this one here. We might move to a different region next time. But you can see that we've done a lot of work. I've actually let the game run quite a bit. And what the heck are these? These are some ugly fish. Like, all I have are ugly fish. That is a really ugly fish. Like, they don't even swim right. Like, how do I get these style of fish? These are stupid fish. Well, I guess they take inspiration from their master. Okay, also, the bobs are invading. That is the apex predator. This thing is going to take over the world. Bob's got a booty on him. Oh, jeez. So, um, I'm not sure what we're actually learning. We're learning that my species isn't surviving. So, I could probably click on it and get some info. Oh, that one just died. Okay, click on this one. Okay, I need info on you. Actually, let's boost you real quick. This is fine. We're boosting Bob right now, and Bob is uh, becoming gigantic. Uh, yeah, that's great. Okay, Bob, you go. So if I pull this up, I can get information on Bob. It's actually not named Bob. Okay, so it's a species Bob. So it's actually got its own name. It's a 100% survival rate. It shows its age. It's It has children? At what point did it make children? Also, I swear it's growing. Bob. Bobs! There's bobs everywhere! Oh no! They're coming to the surface! Can you see the beach from here? I don't think you can see the beach from here. Um, Komodo did a bed. I don't feel like we should be playing this anymore. I've created an army of the apex predator known as Bob, which looks like a half worm, half frog. That also kind of looks like something else that I can't say. Um, they're going off to freedom. There's so many of them. They're gonna eat the ocean. Wait, is this too ugly for you? Dude, my other apex predator, too ugly for you. You know, I need to get a game plan down with this. And we need to create, like, big battles between apex predators, even though they seem kind of friendly to each other. Yeah, this is my too ugly for you fish. What the heck? I'm super impressed with myself, even though I really shouldn't be at the moment. 
Well, I mean, you kind of get the gist of the game. Like I said, very fantastic ecosystem. Everything's sad, by the way, because I think they're getting eaten by the apex predators. Yep, it's a bloodbath up here. That's exactly what's happening right now. All the other fish are starting to disappear. It's just bobs and too ugly for you. So yeah, uh, this is a very fantastic simulation. If you guys do want to see more of this on the channel, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and uh, don't let Bob come to your world because he will take it over.